Hey, so welcome back to the uh, the playthrough of Purple Sprays program using the uh, Realism Progression mod. So, um, we're taking things in two different directions at once. So I have a plane um, basically being built. I'll show you all these in a second as they launch. Uh, to get some uh, some signs from nearby around the airfield. Also level up the uh, the pilots to get some skill in the pilots. Don't want to really be sending a pilot to outer space before he can even fly an aeroplane on the Earth. So what we've done is, is we've got a little plane there. Uh, also uh, badly named, but basically it's small. Uh, it's a small sounding rocket uh, with some bio samples, etc. Uh, just to test the uh, the RD100 series engine. I think we rated it to the RD101 uh, config. Um, but yeah, so if we walk to the sound rocket. We'll get that rolled out and launched. Um, should be spin stabilized, so it should just be a case of straight up ditch the stage and then recover the science. Uh, I chucked a camera on it as well. Not 100% sure how that works, not gonna lie. Um, so. Um, the good news is, though, by the time this is all rolled out to the launch pad. There's only five more days left on the plane, so I could, I kind of timed it so I'd get to show me both. Yeah, so I mean, other than uh, these two, I've basically just been building at the moment, and there's still not really enough parts to sort of create tidy, proper-looking rockets. It, yeah, I could do with another couple of research nodes unlocked, but I just wanted to... Uh, Show you this god awful thing for the time being. I thought what I might do is sounding rockets or not, because they're kind of going to be expected to get like 10, 12,000 feet meters. Sorry. So, fair enough. Uh, we've got two different things. We've got all of the science modules on this. Look, so we've got temperature scan, biology samples, biology sample of pressure. I think I forgot telemetry. So I'll have to pin that. But right, hopefully then. Let's go. Did I pressurize the feed? Very stable. Okay. Well it lit. It's been stabilized. Oh, I transmitted that. I shouldn't have transmitted that. The speed this is not good. Yeah, not good. Oh, oh god. Far too much G force exerted. Yeah. Okay. Well, basically, that was the uh, the cause of that. There was far too many G forces exerted on it. So, well, uncrewed speed record. But yeah, that's unfortunate. So now I just have pieces of spinning crap hurtling <laughs> towards the space center. Actually, this thing's still going up. Uh, that's coming back down now, but that's still, go still going up. So we would have reached 21,000 meters with that rocket. So, uh, space station. Uh, leave anyway. Wait, no. Okay, here we go. Bit of a shame you can't see it on the launch pad already, but... <clears throat> right. Hopefully this sounding rocket will be a bit more successful. Or oh, we'll get an engine failure, I'm not quite sure which. There we go. Right, so this is the test data, the, you know, the data units. Okay, so. Fingers crossed. It's 
Can we make a sound? Uh, what do you play? Alright. Engage engine. Lit. lit. Launch. Oh no, 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 no! Let's get this out quickly. Then deploy the parachute. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. We'll keep the photograph. So we've got we got half a science. <laughs> oh dear. Half a science. That's not particularly great. These sounding rockets aren't gonna aren't gonna work. I don't think. I'm not quite sure why that one just folded in half though when I. Pull the thrust down. I missed the data. Unfortunately, to figure out I'm out of energy now, I think, on this as well. Is this a, is that what I'm reading? Yeah, he's no electrical charge left in this at all. Come on, settle. There we go, recover. All in all, that was dismal. Okay, so this is the uh, the plane I made. So no, it's not particularly perfect, shall we put it? Um. Flies pretty well, to be fair. I don't know. It does fly. It does fly all right. It's not. Okay, let's go. It's quite dark to say it's a uh, oh, bump. That's the one problem as well with remodeling Kerbin into the Earth in real solar system, is the runway isn't flat. Come on, before you start losing control, please. Yep, yep, there we go. Skippity, skippity, transmit. Skip. Okay. the G meters because I wouldn't want to make them pass out. Okay. Uh, so now we just get the nose pointed up. And so now. Okay, so you can see where we are here. We're going to fly across to here, I think it is. And somewhere around here, the biome changes to forest, which is a bit more science. But yeah, you can see where we are. I mean, basically all of this is one biome, which is a bit annoying, but... There's not a lot you can do about it, unfortunately. There we go. So we'll uh, transmit, 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 transmit. We've crossed into a forest. Uh, let me just double check that we're feeding fuel correctly. Yep, so both of the front tanks are locked off. So they're locked off because basically if you drain from those first, it unbalances the aircraft. So. Oh, 
we've got time. We'll just leave. Leave him traveling, unfortunately. I mean, I don't think he's going to find anything here. I mean, look at where we are on the planet. I mean, it's, it's all just the same. I mean, you're going to have to get over here, which the Rockies, I think, before you can find anything particularly useful. Um, and this is not a long-distance, high-altitude liner. It, unfortunately, despite running on jet engines, it's running on very, very, very early style jet engines, the Dar Darwin ones. So they're not particularly designed for transatlantic flights yet. Although I will, I, I do, do want to do a uh, quote unquote commercial airliner style plane. Uh, there you go. Right. Well, sounding locket, complete catastrophe. Plane works, but obviously has very limited access to uh, science based on how it travels. Uh, but this thing can fly, as you can see now, this this kind of altitude, throttled back, uh, it, it can fly for about two hours. Now, obviously, I'm not going to make you guys <laughs> sit through two hours of fucking basically nothing. I mean, it basically looks like this thing sat still at the moment. <laughs> So uh, I will let you know how it goes. Uh, yeah, I shall update you next time. And hope that I will have a better sounding rocket for you. Because the last one was a catastrophe. So, Alright, well, thanks for watching. So I'll see you next time.